How much is the cast of Friends worth today? The short answer is a lot. Famously earning $1 million per episode in the sitcom's heyday, the cast continues to have every reason to fountain dance thanks to massive residual earnings, as well as a big bank from various other projects. Best known as paleontologist Ross Geller, David Schwimmer delivered an Emmy-nominated performance as a character audiences either loved or hated. What the hell was that? A lesson in the importance of unagi. While increasingly making bank throughout the show's run gave him the financial stability to pursue various on-screen and behind-the-scenes endeavors, the actor-director struggled with his overnight fame, telling the Hollywood Reporter's Awards Chatter podcast that balancing work with his celebrity was so tricky that it, quote, took years to adjust. To further complicate things, Schwimmer has often found himself typecast, calling his friend's success a paradox. He told the Los Angeles Times in 2016, I don't really have a strategy. Maybe if I did, I'd be a much bigger film actor or star. These difficulties led Schwimmer to noticeably spend his post-friend's career largely out of the spotlight. But that doesn't mean he was on a break. We were on a break! <laughs> While the Madagascar voice actor still continued to find work in Tinseltown and on Broadway, 2016 saw his highly anticipated return to the small screen. Following his critically acclaimed turn as Robert Kardashian on American Crime Story, The People vs. O.J. Simpson, he landed a recurring role as Deborah Messing's on-screen love interest Noah on Will & Grace two years later. With his on-screen prospects looking up, Schwimmer's multi-talents have led him to obtain a reported net worth of $85 million. While the Friends gang have all gone on to find varying degrees of success in showbiz, Jennifer Aniston undeniably became the show's biggest breakout star after leaving the role of Rachel Green behind, which we honestly should have seen coming considering there was a literal haircut named after her alter ego. All right, listen, Mitzi, if you want this part, you're gonna have to take me with it. <laughs> After nabbing an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series in 2002, the TV star refocused her career on the big screen in a slew of box office smash hits like Bruce Almighty, We're the Millers, and Marley and Me. But she didn't just act. According to Elle, business mogul Aniston has not only run her own Ecofilms production company since 2008, but has also landed several lucrative endorsement deals with the likes of Smartwater, Emirates Airline, and Aveeno. She even co-owned the hair company Living Proof until 2016. Oh, and as of May 2019, Variety reports that she'll top her friend's salary with a whopping $1.1 million per episode to star in the Apple TV Plus dramedy The Morning Show. Aniston, who reportedly used to clean toilets for pocket cash in high school, was one of the world's highest paid actresses in 2018. Due to her artistic and financial efforts, she's unsurprisingly maintained the biggest net worth of her former co-stars at a reported $200 40 million dollars. Before leaving the role of funny man Chandler Bing behind in 2004, Matthew Perry had unfortunately already begun struggling both personally and professionally. According to People, he went through multiple rehab stints due to his long-time battle with prescription pills and alcohol addiction. Throughout his journey towards sobriety, the TV star continued to work, albeit to varying success. In addition to appearing in various box office flops like The Whole 10 Yards and 17 Again, Perry starred in a number of short-lived TV series like Mr. Sunshine and The Odd Couple. He's devoted much of his time to executive producing and writing in more recent years, according to the New York Times. That said, it doesn't look like Perry's itching to make that friend's money again, as he's openly spoken out against the idea of doing a reboot. In 2017, he told Vanity Fair, I have this nightmare that we do friends again and nobody cares. So if anybody asks me, I'm gonna say no. The thing is, we ended up on such a high, we can't beat it. Why would we go and do it again? Could he be making a better point? Besides, with a reported net worth of $80 million, we'd say Perry's continued to do pretty well for himself. Courtney Cox, aka Friends' own high-strung chef, Monica Geller, initially struggled to maintain her television superstar momentum in the mid-2000s. You want a problem? I'll give you a problem. After having to pass the iconic role of Terry Hatcher's Susan on Desperate Housewives for personal reasons, the actress appeared in the critical flop Zoom. To add insult to injury, Cox's next small screen endeavor, the 2007 series Dirt, failed to survive the writer's strike after suffering from dwindling ratings and lukewarm critical reception. 
The Scream star thankfully found her footing after launching Coquette Productions in 2004, according to People. The production company, which she shares with her ex-husband David Arquette, went on to produce the actress's next big claim to fame, Cougar Town. However, like her on-screen husband Matthew Perry, Cox has gone on record to say that Friends reunion is indeed a no-go. She told Yahooed myself in 2015, We are not doing it, it's just not gonna happen. Well, there you have it. This multi-talent clearly isn't hurting from her NBC salary. While wearing multiple hats as actress, director, and producer, Cox has been able to maintain her on-screen presence while reportedly accumulating an impressive net worth of $120 million. Way to go, Mon. Am I on fire today or what? Just before landing the role of the lovable yet womanizing aspiring actor Joey Tribbiani on Friends, Matt LeBlanc was broke. Like, really broke. During an appearance on Conan in 2019, he revealed, You know when you think, all right, I got a little money in the bank, I can, I can hold out till the next gig. I had, I think, I was down to $11. Now that's holding out too long. <laughs> Unlike his former co-stars, the actor understandably held on to his most popular character long after the show wrapped. LeBlanc went on to star in his own spin-off series, Joey, in 2014. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on your take of the iffy spin-off, the ill-fated sitcom was cancelled after two seasons due to low ratings. But as the TV star told The Guardian in 2012, quote, I made a load of money, so call it failure all you want. While LeBlanc's on-screen career appeared to be in trouble, he turned things around after a five-year hiatus by playing a version of himself for six seasons on episodes. Don't turn around. I said don't turn around. Why is the mini you say don't? Okay, I'm not turning. Is it Bigfoot? The successful gig earned him a Golden Globe in 2012, and the actor's follow-up turn on CBS's Man With A Plan was renewed for a third season in 2018. So, how you doing, Matt LeBlanc? Well, we'd say our guy's doing pretty fine financially these days, with a reported net worth of $80 million. During her friend's days, Lisa Kudrow played double duty. In addition to her Emmy award-winning portrayal of ever-eccentric Phoebe Buffay... No! No, no! The end! The end! Okay, what kind of a sick doggy snuff film is this? The actress took on the recurring role of twin sister Ursula on NBC's Mad About You. While we're not sure what it meant for her bank account, it did make for a multitude of memorial crossover episodes. Oh, and she also starred in the cult comedy Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion in 1997. No big deal. In 2015, Kudrow told The Guardian that her early success, quote, gave her financial stability. She explained, I don't have to do something because I need the money. Naturally, the actress went on to expand her horizons by writing, producing, and starring in HBO's The Comeback and the web series turned Showtime hit Web Therapy. She also guest starred on shows like The Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt and Grace and Frankie, and appeared in films like Analyze This and Neighbors. With dozens of on screen credits to her name, Kudrow has since reportedly accumulated a net worth of $70 million. You keep doing you, Phoebes. After getting his big break in the 1995 classic Clueless, Paul Rudd was already a rising star in his own right when he joined the cast of Friends as Mike Hannigan. What are you doing? Setting rat traps. To kill Bob? No, no, to test his neck strength. He played Lisa Kudrow's on-screen love interest towards the end of the series, and the actor, writer, producer went on to have a massive career on and off screen, including roles in Wet Hot American Summer, Anchorman, and Knocked Up. He even reunited with old pal Jennifer Aniston in 2012's Wonderlust. Despite his continued success in showbiz, Rudd admitted that fans still ask about Phoebe during an appearance on Good Morning America in 2018. Sometimes I'll get, how's Phoebe? Oh, oh no, that's right! Yeah. On top of never appearing to age and his undeniable talents, Rudd can perhaps owe the longevity of his career to knowing the meaning of a hard-earned buck. He once revealed on CBS's Sunday morning that one of his first jobs was a ham glazer, which is exactly what it sounds like, explaining that the gig allowed him to save up enough money for acting school in Los Angeles. Rudd added, I figured early on acting was what I wanted to do for a job, and I certainly hoped it would work out. We'd say it has. Rudd began cashing those Marvel paychecks at the MCU's very own Ant-Man in 2015, and reportedly has a net worth of $30 million to boot. 
As synonymous with Magnum P.I. as he is with his facial hair, Tom Selleck was already a TV icon in his own right a decade before landing Friends in 1996. The legendary actor played Dr. Richard Burke, the much older love interest of Courtney Cox's Monica, in a memorable 10-episode story arc that surprisingly almost didn't happen. Sorry, is Monica Geller coming? I was told she was. Dr. Burke, it's, it's me. Monica? While speaking with the AV Club in 2015, Selig revealed that he'd been advised against taking the gig. He dished, They said it's a TV show. You can't guest on someone else's TV show. They'll say you're crawling back to television. However, Selig genuinely liked the sitcom, had built his career on taking risks, and of course, ultimately, said yes. Apparently, he thought, quote, All of those actors were a joy to work with, and he would have done as many as 30 episodes if they'd asked him to. The showbiz veteran proved that he hadn't lost the undeniable chemistry of Cox in 2018, when the two shared an impromptu reunion at a New York City bar. Beyond Friends, Selleck went on to appear in the CBS procedural drama series Blue Bloods, and has enjoyed starring and producing roles with the Jesse Stone TV movie franchise. With over 80 on-screen credits to his name, he has reportedly accumulated an impressive net worth of $45 million to boot. Jane Sibbett is best known for playing Carol Willick on Friends, aka the first ex-wife of David Schwimmer's Ross. <laughs> no, I, you know, I can't do this. So don't do it, it's fine. You don't have to do it just because Susan does it. Hello, babe. <laughs> On her website, the actress noted that this groundbreaking role was, quote, one sweet half of the historic first lesbian TV wedding to Jessica Hex Susan Bunch. However, as Sibbit revealed to Metro at Comedy Central's Friends Fest in 2017, she nearly missed out on the opportunity. Pregnant at the time of her original audition to be part of the Central Perk gang, Sibbit was later cast after another actress didn't work out. She explained, I got a phone call the day that I came home from the hospital from delivering my son after a 24-hour labor, and they said, can you come to work tomorrow? And I was like, I'm kind of sore. I don't think I can make it. She went on to gush about how amazing both the show's script and star David Schwimmer were, which helped her realize that she had to nab the gig. In addition to her notable turns in Herman's Head and It Takes Two, Sibbert referred to herself as, quote, an American actress, writer, director, producer, mother, photographer, dancer, teacher, and so much more on her website. Overall, this multifaceted career has earned Sibbert a reported net worth of $2 million. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.